your flight plan. Your flight plan is as important to you as to a pilot who's taking off the flight plan to them, and frankly, to all the passengers as well. You would never get onto a plane at an airport to go somewhere without knowing already where that plane was going. And that's why that flight plan is so important. It allows people to come onto your journey as well. And when we talk about a flight plan, like in the, in the, in the assessment you're about to do, we go through this from the point of view of on a year-to-year -year basis. Every year, because things move so much in our economies and in our world today, like to try and think 5, 10, 20 years ahead while you can have a vision of it, it can't be such a clear plan in a way that a one-year plan can be with the detail that a one-year plan can be. So this is more than just like a business plan or this is more than just kind of like a step-by-step -step of where you want to go. This is about creating a vision which then breaks down into the parts to lead back to where you are today. So you can see really clearly what to do in the next three months, what to do in the next six months. Uh, I was speaking to someone just, uh, just yesterday, where, just before I was actually doing this recording, and it's someone who I actually feature in the book, and his name is Scott Picken. He's based in South Africa. And I've now worked with Scott over many years, where if we won't go back to the very first year that I was working with him, and at that point he had a, a property business which was in Australia. And he was based in South Africa, and the entire property market in Australia had gone negative, and he was trying to figure out what to do with his business, which was negative at that point as well. And so we just put a flight plan together to get out of infrared, to just get positive. It's like, what do you need to do with the business to make that happen? Imagine a future vision, one year ahead. What would be looking different that would make you go, oh, that's something worth going for? And as it turned out, he was just starting a family, and the most important thing was that he could have time with his family, which he'd been putting to the side. But at the same time, in terms of the team, he wanted the team to be happier than they were at the moment because they were as stressed as he was. His customers were not getting the returns they wanted. And again, for him, it's like he couldn't do anything about the market. But as a result of that, he's like thinking, maybe I should be in a different market. We didn't worry about the how at this point. We were all thinking about the what. What's going to happen? When's it going to happen by? Within the next year, if this was what it looked like, and then we broke down the what and the when, what would that then look like? And this is what this plan is all about. It's about getting the what and the when clear. Remember, the what is at the top of the genius square. The when is at the bottom. This is the dynamo and the tempo. It's like the arrow. You create the arrow, the who and the how will show up. Most of us get stuck because we're like, well, I can't even decide what I'm going to do until I know who's going to help me or how I'm going to do it. This is about actually saying, no, it actually starts by the pilot saying, here's where we're going to go. And then the who shows up. The people that want to go with you on that journey are going to come with you on that journey. That's what happened with Scott in that first year that I worked with him. And of course, by just focusing at that instead of all the big things he wanted to do in life, just getting that first thing done, he achieved it. And that then led to the next step, which is what I feature in the book, which is how he then built the business into a multi-million dollar business with property investments in, uh, in, in, in America, and how he did that with investors in South Africa and the steps he took. And I explained that in the book. Well, the call I had with him just this week, it was actually the next step again, because now it's an entirely new year. And after having achieved that, he's now building up what is a, a crowdfunding business for uh, property called Wealth Migrate. And it's, uh, it's at the cutting edge at the moment of the entire industry. And he was putting a vision together of saying, here's my flight plan of where I would like to be in a year's time now with a business which is already worth over $10 million and growing. And it just goes to show how quickly we can move from infrared upwards by just putting these flight plans in place. So let's have a look and see what are the steps of this flight plan. Let's do an assessment first of all, just so we actually know what are the steps we're actually going to complete on so that by the time we're done, you have a really clear picture of where you want to be. What's, what's realistic, reasonable, but stretches you a little bit as well over this next one year? What would that be? Here's the most important thing about getting direction on your plan. There's really three steps, and you can see it right here on your flight plan. This is a downloadable playbook, and in here it talks about who you are, which, of course, by actually doing the test, you're finding out already through your genius, where you are, which again is what you've already found out through your levels, and where you're going, which is what this flight plan is all about. And as we go through this, you're going to see that it breaks down into the first five, which are all around your future vision. Uh, and we're going to go through those steps with you. So if you haven't done those, here's the perfect time to be able to do it. And then the next five, which is how you turn that into a flight path. So just answer this, and you can actually go through each of these one by one as I do it. If you want, you can even pause this recording and come back to it for each of these different steps. But actually use the slider uh, down below for each of these different uh, 10 different statements. Uh, where you're actually saying zero if it's just not true at all and 10 if it's like already done or somewhere in the middle if it's kind of like a little bit done. The first one is I've taken the Millionaire Master Plan test. You see, I'm starting kind of easy with you. It's like, well, you've already taken it, which is good. That could be a 10. 
But having said that, I'm adding a little bit more. I know my genius, my natural strengths and weaknesses, and my natural path to wealth, which means that if you kind of like know it, but you never watched the video, you don't really know what it means, you might not be at a 10. It might be a little bit lower, but you decide on that. The second one, number two, I've taken the Millionaire Master Plan test. I know what level of wealth spectrum I'm at and what the next steps are that I need to take. So the first one's on the genius. The second one is on your wealth spectrum level. Same thing counts if you know pretty clearly what it means to be yellow or infrared, whatever the uh, level is that you're at. Well, then at that point, great. It's at a high level, like 10. Um, if you're still trying to figure out what it is, it might be at a low level. And the great thing is it's going to be somewhere on this slider. Number three, I have a written, inspiring future vision that covers a vision of what my life looks like in all areas a year from now. And if you don't have that, great, no problem. It can be a zero. Once you've gone through the next section of this uh, mission, you're going to find it's going to go up pretty dramatically. Number four, I have shared my future vision with my mentor, family, and close friends who are part of my vision and who will help me achieve it. So what is that on a zero to 10? Of course, if you've already done that, great. But you can already see what the steps are going to be as we go through this. And number five, I have my future vision posted where it is visible to inspire me daily. And I check on it daily. So again, just keep a note, if you haven't done that yet, that's going to be one of the actions you're going to take, which just will transform your focus every day at what you're going to be doing in this coming year. Now let's get on to the flight path. Number six, I have a written flight path for the year, which gives me per monthly personal and financial milestones to achieve my future vision. Number seven, all my personal and financial milestones stretch me and strengthen me, but do not break or weaken me. Because for some of us, we make them too big. And as a result of it, we can't even get to it and we give up. And other times, we don't make them big enough and we get into our comfort zone where it becomes really difficult for us to even motivate ourselves. Number eight, I have a daily, weekly, and monthly rhythm that I follow to self-correct myself on my journey using my natural genius. And in my experience, many of us, that's our biggest challenge is that we don't keep the rhythm going, which is a little bit like trying to swim a lap in the pool without taking a breath. Once you take the rhythm, it actually becomes much, much easier to create sustainable wealth. Number nine, I am disciplined at keeping focus on my future vision and flight path and am flexible with any change in direction to keep myself clear and inspired. And finally, number 10, I use my future vision as my compass, helping me to prioritize where I should be focusing all my time and effort each day. What would your score be on that one as well? Now, on each one of those, you'll notice that now you put your score in, down below, you actually have the total which is a total out of 100. Don't be discouraged if it's low. Don't worry. This is all about knowing that small steps can make big improvements now as well. But do just consider for a moment the people you know that are super successful, the people you might read about in the newspaper or that you've read their biography. Uh, and just think about, in each case, how much while they might not have known every single little step they were going to take or when luck was going to show up, they certainly had a vision of where they were going to go. They certainly articulated what that vision was going to be. They didn't know all the who and the how, but they certainly said, here's what's going to happen. And by actually just being clear about that vision and then breaking down what that looks like in a particular year, they had that ability from that to be able to attract the right people to them. In fact, think about this like you're a listed company on a stock market. There's not a single company in the stock market that isn't required to be able to tell the market and, and, and share with the market what their plans are for the next year. You know, what it is that they actually project is what's going to be happening within the business within the next year. And then actually break that down into quarterly reporting as well. And we're going to see that that process is a reason for it. And by us actually going through that same process ourselves, we can get ourselves into a space where we can actually feel a rhythm and a balance which makes us feel far more comfortable that no matter how tough might seem, things might seem today, you can actually see already the light at the end of the tunnel because you've got that picture of what that light is. And that light is what lightens the way and brightens the path for your journey forward as well. So go ahead, complete those 10 so you actually can see the assessment. And then once you're ready with that, know you can come back to this page and then click through so that we can actually get to work.